Greetings everybody, it's I, Firestorm. This is my pre-thoughts, uh, thoughts Auto Assembly 2014 video. It is a little late, um, I had a few teething issues on the computer. New graphics card has just been installed yesterday. You can imagine what computers are like when you do a new change to hardware, they hate it. But anyway, oh, we're all up and running. So, this is my Auto Assembly 2014 thoughts video, including some delicious chocolate Baileys. Right, let's get down to business regarding this. Auto Assembly 2014. As always, I had a really, really, really good time. I really thoroughly enjoyed myself, as I always do. Bought a lot of stuff, which, uh, again, haul video will come later, as will the montage video. So, I don't even know where to begin. In fact, I may just keep this video brief. But, Auto Assembly 2014 was again another great year with great guests, great people, great conversation, food and alcohol. Well, maybe not so much great food, but alcohol definitely, but definitely not bad from the hotel. With Auto Assembly, it's no longer about the figures anymore. It's not really about going and buying Transformer figures. It's more to do with the people, it's more to do with meeting people you only see there once a year, having a great time with them, meeting the guests, meeting the artists. It's much more of a social event now than it is about a Transformers event. It's fast becoming the one great moment for a lot of people in their lives in the entire year. And everybody out there, all the people of Auto Assembly, are much more than just friends. You're all family, and that, that I think that goes without saying that every single person at Auto Assembly were all part of one big family, and we always will be. I mean, up here, I've got all the passes that's uh, five passes yeah, 2010, 11, 12, 13, on. one, two, three, four, five. Yep, 2010 to 2014, there's the five passes for Auto Assembly. Hopefully we'll be adding number six to that next year Because well next year I really want to go anywhere just for every year especially next year I want to go because of the voice actors that are going mainly because I have one of the uh, a particular First edition figure that I'd like to get signed by the good old voice actress who plays Prime RC Yeah, I have the first edition RC Prime. I've never opened it. It's over there. I will tend to get that signed next year But as I was stating family we all are family, all of us at Auto Assembly, we're much more than just friends, we're much more than just a group of people that meet because we've got the same interests. We meet because we enjoy each other's company, we have a great time. Yeah, some people may think, oh my god, Sam's back, what do I say to him, he's so bizarre, he's always smiling creepily. But that's just because I'm playing on, you know, eating some chicken and some fresh blood. I like to propose a toast to every single person out there. To Water Assembly 2014, we had a great time. To friends, to family, and to Water Assembly. Every year, when I first went to Water Assembly, when I first went, 2010, I was so nervous, literally. A lot of the people that I knew I'd only ever seen on YouTube, through the videos. I'd spoken to one or two of them by Skype, but I'd obviously never physically met them. And the first year, 2010, I was utterly nervous. I was a nervous wreck, you know. I was like, oh my god, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to say? And I think everybody is the first time, especially when you see first time going and there's all these people there and you haven't got a clue what to say, we've all been there. But but now it's just a case of I can walk up to anybody there and talk to them and the vast majority of people know me anyway. I mean, Sam Fairman, for example, he knows me. Yeah. We'll not discuss that as restraining order. Ah, just kidding. Don't have a restraining order against anyone. But yeah, I mean, as I said, the guests, as I mentioned, Simon Fairman, I love talking to him, he's such a great guy. 
and well I've got a lot of his stuff that is written and a lot of that stuff is signed now sweet but auto assembly is so much more and it's evolved in fact it's evolved I mean it evolved right from 2000 I mean 2000 the first auto assembly you can find the footage on YouTube and as Dave aka Cal Pram said at the, on the Sunday when we were wrapping up for the weekend it's gone from being 2000 the year 2000 it's gone from being a small room in a hotel of about 30 people random clips of G1 cartoon being shown hot and cold refreshments and one seller selling transformers that was pretty much it then 14 years later it's the biggest convention in europe probably the biggest transformer convention in the uk we had nearly a thousand people show up this year i believe we had about 936 people this year i mean it's got to the point now where we're actually i believe we're actually getting more and more like sellers wanting to come more people wanting to come it's all over youtube it's all over facebook it's all over twitter it's growing and it has grown i mean since youtube first came about it's grown i mean i found out about auto assembly back in um 2009 actually no sorry 2008 i found out about auto assembly in 2008 I didn't see any footage until real. I actually looked at the footage and I saw a lot of 2009 footage, and that's when I decided to go. I mean, from a, a personal note, Transformers has for me was something. I grew up with Beast Wars, so I never really saw G1. But everybody knows the characters of G1, even if you've never seen it, even if you've only ever seen Beast Wars. And I think 2010 was a good year for me to go because during the voice actors we had were all linked to Beast Wars. And throughout the years, we've had a lot of G1, we've had R.I.D., we've had more Beast Wars characters. Next year, we're getting Transformers Prime voice actors. I mean, it's always a great time, and it's always a good time. We always have the laughs, we always have the banter, we always have those moments where you're just happy to see somebody. And when it comes down to it, you have the worst part, the leaving part. Usually, that Sunday evening, whether it's in the bar at 10 o'clock in the evening having a drink with someone or it's 3 in the morning and you're sat in your hotel room but you're going to be thinking to yourself on that day or on the Monday morning on the way home it's over for another year you just want to go back and I think that is an important thing I don't think you get that with any other convention I've been to a few conventions other than auto assembly and even though I have a good time I don't get that feeling I get from auto assembly there's none of the social side to it, none of the social bonding. There's no, there's no high level. You don't really get the friendship with it. You know, you don't get the, the, the family. As I've said, there's no real side to that. But auto assembly, we are a family, and we always will be. And who knows, thirty years from now, when we're all like in our fifties and sixties, will we still be going? Probably will be. I mean. I don't know, I mean, if Auto Assembly ever stopped, which I can't see it happening, but if it if it did, if for some reason, one year it was not going to happen, I think from what I've, a lot of people have said, they'd still go to Birmingham. I think a lot of people would still meet up. You know, probably not at the Hilton, because it would be really expensive, but maybe at the Holiday Inn where it used to be, until we went to the Hilton, for example. We might all just meet up there and just have a weekend chilling out with each other and going around Birmingham and visiting all the shops and buying stuff we probably do it because at the end of the day probably 90% of the time you go in there to meet people people that you only see once you, the voice actors you meet as well and the artists you meet and the sellers you meet but a lot of the time it is about the social element and that is what's important so anybody out there anybody who's, who's maybe heard about Auto Assembly but hasn't, hasn't gone yet go next year just go and as many people will say you don't have to worry about who who you speak to you uh, know I mean, there's, there's plenty of people you can speak to you know I mean, it might be in here what I'm looking for I'm looking for a little thing that should be in here if it's not in here then I'll have to dig it out later but I'm hoping it's in here I don't think it's in this bag people just give me a minute I'll see if I can find it because it's a uh, a little something I want to show off if it's in here it's 
Right, okay, that's enough searching of the back, I can't find it. If I find what I'm looking for, it'll, go, it'll come up on the, uh, on the whole video I'm going to do. But as I was saying, just go, if you've never been, go. Well, have a great time, enjoy yourselves. As you say, I mean, yeah, okay, it's hard to walk up to people you've never met. And sometimes it's just easy to jump in there and just start talking or joining a conversation. Now, there are a few people that may do strange things. Uh, as we found out, I believe it was last year, I think, Knowles has got great nipples. We found that out. Uh, you meet a guy called Jared, known as Wolfgang One. Also has this band. Cheers, lads. Wolfgang, got you for signing it for me, lads. Really appreciate it. You're really good live. I will be putting up your videos I recorded on, on YouTube at some point this week. As I was saying, if you do walk up to Jared, he may caress your face. He was doing that to people at the weekend, but he does that. Monkey, uh, aka James, as we all know him, uh, he's very, very awesome, very random, but very funny. Sammy, well, what do we talk about Sammy? Sammy and George, the two sophisticated people of Auto Assembly. George recently wrote a book called Strange Playgrounds. I recommend it. Uh, I'll just show it off one more time. Here it is, Strange Playgrounds, and George signed it for me. Thank you very much, George. Really appreciate that. I did enjoy reading it. But back to Water Assembly. I just want to finish this video, really, just by saying a toast to friends of Water Assembly, to the family of Water Assembly, to all the good times we've had, to the bad times we get through together. Cheers. And this is Triple O Firestorm saying, I'll miss you all. And see you all in a year. Peace out, guys.